What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's yours truly Fitzy. How you guys doing? I hope you're having an awesome day. I've been enjoying a lot of Borderlands 3 and I've been streaming it too, so make sure you follow me on Mixer. Link is in the description, but that's not why you guys are here. Also, I mentioned of a Q&A video. Well, this is it. And also we're going to go over what I think are the best Gen 5 Pokemon for the Great League. Now, some of these Pokemon, I haven't even looked at their moves yet. So we'll be kind of doing this together as I exit out of this. But first, let's just go over the questions real quick. Um, Jarrett says, how do you organize your items in Pokemon storage? Uh, I prioritize my items around having enough Pokeballs. Uh, I usually have around 300 Pokeballs. I usually have around 300 Great Balls. 200 Ultra Balls. I make sure I have at least over 100 Hyper Potions and Max Potions. Over 100 Revives and Max Revives. Everything else is just subjective. Uh, I try to keep at least 100 Golden Raspberries. Um, everything else, like I said, it just depends. I usually spend by Rare Candies, so I make sure I prioritize that I have enough Potions and Revives to keep raiding, even if I want to do a massive raid train on one day. And I make sure I have enough Pokeballs, uh, whether it be Great Balls or Ultra Balls, to literally catch anything I want. That's how I keep that prioritized. And Pokemon Storage, right now I'm kind of struggling. Um, but what I normally do is keep all good IV Pokemon and all shinies. That's pretty much uh, how I manage my storage. What are what are my top Pokemon? Um, my 100% Kyogre. Um, Slackings are in there. Um, I do have a Ho-Oh that's maxed out. 97.8%. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't say any of those are my top Pokemon. Some of the Gen 5 Pokemon are going to be my top. I'll probably do a video going over my top Pokemon later. Uh, stories of how I got some. So let's just go over the 100% IV Kyogre. Um, I caught that when Kyogre's circle was tiny. Remember the the hard catching Kyogre when it first came out? It was way in the back and the circle was tiny. That's how I caught my 100% before they fixed it. So yes, I caught my Kyogre as hard as you could possibly catch it. How do I normally play? Just casual, walk around, shiny check, catch some Pokemon every now and then. I actually don't play that hardcore anymore. I don't go out and grind as much as I used to. Like, do you prefer being a shiny hunter? Oh, okay, yeah. Shiny hunter, basically, and I do raids every now and then. Rarely see gameplay? Yeah, I used to do a lot of gameplay uh, previously on the channel, and you got those have been around for a while. I used to do a lot of gameplay, but more I'm strictly news, tips, and tricks, because I'm trying to get you guys... Um, the most updated uh, content and the most valuable content as opposed to just going out and show you guys what my campus looks like or something like that because you guys could probably care less of my daily life and you want cold hard facts and what's going to help you in raids, PvP, what's to come, what's coming even farther in the future, what became good, what became bad. You guys want the facts and that's why you're here. Wallace, one question bothered me recently. Shiny checking Pokemon. Reddit managed to break down how high chances to get a shiny in the wild, raids, hatches, research tests. One in 450 for wild. Will this mean clicking on 450 of the same Pokemon to get the particular Pokemon a shiny or click any shiny potential and your 450 first will click on will be a potential shiny? Also, I find that some shinies you already have seem it seems will haunt you. Get what I mean? Yeah, I do. So, each time, it's... It, it, it's okay so the way that randomness works is once you click on a Pokemon you have a 1 in 450 chance basically now the way that they did this they said in 450 Pokemon one of them should be shiny well that's 1 in 450 right so that means every single time you click on a wild Pokemon that can be shiny you have 1 in 450 chance every single time so if you click on 451 Pokemon that 451 Pokemon is not gonna necessarily be shiny you still have a 1 in 450 chance of getting a shiny. So I hope that clears that up, Wallace. And yeah, some Pokemon seem to haunt you. It's just, that's the way to stop clicking on those Pokemon. What does it take to get over 2,000 subs on YouTube? Hard work. I've been doing this for almost three years, and I started off so slow. But I knew that I was still helping people, whether I had 100 subscribers, 500 subscribers. I started this channel to help people and I knew I'd continue to grow because people look for answers or they look for guidance, they look for help, and that's what I'm here for. Do I play Mario? Sadly, Popo, I do not. Also, we got a couple questions on a video, a uh, Q&A video question. I continue seeing stats showing that you can solo duo or trio raid bosses. I can never get them to work for me whilst raiding with friends. Do you need max CP 100% IV Pokemon? That does help. 
you do need to max out some of these Pokemon. So, for example, if you're trying to uh, duo Raikou and with Sunny Weather, you're gonna want very close to max level Groudons. I'm talking very close, probably level 37, 38. So that's near max Groudons to get to be able to uh, duo Raikou and Sunny Weather. Uh, with all level 40 trainers for this to work. Yep, you gotta be level 40. I'm level 38 still can't get this to work with my best team. That is usable. By the way, my friend is level 40. So yeah, your Pokemon have to be near maxed out, near maxed out, or maxed out if you can, to do these duos, solos, and trios. Um, some solos are obviously easier than others, like doing a Gengar raid, um, or even doing attack the opposite. Some solos are easier and some are harder than others. Uh, definitely utilize the Pokemon Go Hub for the best Pokemon, but your general question is do you need to max them out? Pretty much. They have to be very, very, very far powered up for you to have a very good chance at completing those raids. Uh, so I have two questions. Maybe one can be a Q&A and <laughs> one for now. My question is, first you mentioned the video you want to catch a Shiny Scyther raid. Does that mean Shiny Scyther is out? I do believe Jessica. Yep, it is. Also, any news on Shiny Abra? Seeing it accident accidentally released a move. No news. Uh, my guess is Alakazam might be a raid day. That'd be cool. Or a potential, um, a potential community day Pokemon, because why not? Alright, now let's get into the best Great League Pokemon. Ponyard which is the first evolution of Bisharp, 1433 CP, 154 attack, which is pretty high, uh, 114 defense, 120 stamina. The main thing to look at is Dark, Dark and Steel. Now, fighting can be prevalent in the Great League, but this typing is pretty good when it comes to everything else. And the moves, I've actually looked at this one ahead of time, are really good. You want to have Fury Cutter with Exegizer and Night Slash. Fury Cutter is going to build up both Exegizer and Night Slash extremely fast, allowing you to choose which move you actually want to use. So if you want to bait, let's say Bug, the Bug move is not going to do that much damage, bait a shield with that, come back with Night Slash because they didn't see it coming, and you do Stab, which is extra damage. So Ponyard is actually going to be a pretty good Pokemon in the Great League. And I'm going to kind of machine gun these off if you guys don't mind. <laughs> the Q&A took a little bit longer than I thought. Next one is Tertuga. Tortuga, the first evolution to Caracosta, 1488 CP, so you can max it out, 134 attack, 146 defense, 144 stamina, it's got an interesting typing with water and, and rock, and the, the main thing is, is you can max this Pokemon out, get the maximum benefit from its stats. Its moves are really good too, definitely run Water Gun, and honestly the rest is up to you. Water Gun is a great fast move in PvP, Surf, Body Slam, and Ancient Power. If it was me, Definitely run Ancient Power for that stab and that potential to actually get a, a buff in attack and defense. That's always a good move. And you could run Body Slam or Surf. Surf is going to charge up as quickly as Body Slam, but you could use Ancient Power as a Shield Buster and then hit with a Heavy Surf. It's up to you, but this Pokemon has a lot of viability in the Great League. Next up is Rufflet. Rufflet's interesting. 150 attack, 97 defense, but that stamina is insane. And of course, the CP is just under 1500, which means you can max this point one out. But the interesting thing about Rufflet is you're only going to use it as a flying attacker. Um, of course, you could give it Rock Tomb, but I'd go with Wing Attack and Arrow Ace for Shield Busting and Heavy Stab damage. Um, like I said, you could give it Rock Tomb, but this is going to solely be a flying type attacker. So this is kind of a niche Pokemon, but I did want to mention it because its stats were so good. Next up is Larvista. Larvista is another Pokemon you can max out. 156, 107, 146. It has a really cool typing with Bug and Fire. So it resists Grass, Bug, Fairy, Fighting, Ice, and Steel. Fighting is definitely a big one. And if we go to the moves, the moves are pretty solid too. You could run Ember or Bug Bite. Ember does actually have a pretty solid EPT, energy per turn. And then you could do, uh, what's better for, wow. I actually do not know what's better because these are two really strange moves that you usually don't see in the game. So I, th I think Flame Charge is a better PvP move and you could run Bug Buzz too for a one hit KO. But uh, very interesting Pokemon, very good stats. Uh, this is another niche Pokemon, I throw it in the same um, same category as Rufflet. Next up is Herdier. Herdier is a normal type Pokemon so it's already interesting and only weak to fighting. The stats are pretty good, it's over 1500, but these stats are going to pretty much hold true since it maxes out just over 1500. And you would give it Lick. Lick is a pretty good PvP move with Play Rough and Thunderbolt. 
this Pokemon again is gonna fill the role of a niche. Um, it's got pretty good boost or pretty good stacks, excuse me, for Great League. So it's just gonna fill a kind of awkward role. I'm not gonna say it's a bad Pokemon, but I won't say it's good either. Test it out, and same thing goes with all these Pokemon that I'm going over. Test them out first. Um, but by the looks of it, these are the ones that just stood out to me that I wanted to go over. Next up's Arduino. I don't know if I'm saying that right. 1682, 114 attack, which is low, but the defense and the stamina are going to be insane, especially with the weakness only being fighting. So this is literally the Chansey of Great League. Uh, Pound and Zed Headbutt both aren't very good moves, but it does get Disarming Voice, and Disarming Voice, regardless of the fast move, has a very low energy cost. So this is very nice for PvP. Uh, and especially since Disarming Voice will do be deal super effective damage to Fighting Dragon and Dark, something that you could be seeing a lot more of in the Great League. Next up is Zwelis, Zwelis, uh, two-headed dragon, definitely really cool. It's got quite a bit of weaknesses for being a dragon type, but it resists a lot as well. But the moves is where things get interesting. So dragon breath, without a doubt, with body slam, and you could choose dark pulse or dragon pulse. I mean, they're both going to do stab and heavy damage. But Dragon Breath and Body Slam alone, that's pretty wicked, actually. That's a pretty wicked, shield-busting, heavy, neutral damage uh, moveset right there. That's insane. So I can see why Zoellus made it on the list for PV Pokes' uh, best Pokemon. Um, next up is Lipard. Lipard's actually an interesting Pokemon. I saw the stats. I'm like, yeah, this could, this could possibly make it. Let's look at the moves. So we look here. Snarl. It's Charm. Charm is going to be very viable in the Great League due to the increase in Dark, Dragon, and Fighting types. Um, Charm is a very good move. It doesn't have that high EBT, but it's a very good move. And then you could give it Play Rough and Dark Pulse. Or if you really want to focus on the stab damage and getting these moves a lot faster, go with Snarl. Lightpart is kind of a niche Pokemon because its moves aren't incredible for PvP, but they are viable. Next up is Whimsicott. Uh, Whimsicott. It's basically the fairy typing uh, is why I chose this Pokemon because I do believe if the moves want to work here, it has charm. It does. And you could give it Grass Knot, Hurricane. You know what? I'm going to say it right now. This Pokemon actually probably won't be that good. It's just... No. The moves aren't good enough. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete that one. It's just not going to It's not gonna be a viable option with what we already have access to. Next up is Mandibuzz, Dark and Flying. Look at the defense and the stamina. You can already say that this is going to be a tank or the Great League, right? So let's go ahead and look at the moves. We have Snarl and Air Slash, so you can pick your poison. Both of these are very good. Sky Attack, File Play, Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Okay, so obviously you want to run Shadow Ball and Sky Attack. Now whether you want to run Snarl or Air Slash is entirely up to you. Both are very good moves in terms of EPT. Um, but this is incredible. Shadow Ball has proven one of the best PvP moves in Pokemon Go. So I can see this Pokemon is definitely going to be in some very good teams for some of the best players in the world. Next up is Amoongus, and I picked this one only because the stamina is 249 at a fairly low CP. So it's going to be a tank. Well, let's look at the moves and see if it can withhold that. And the answer is not really. Faint Attack and Astonish. Faint Attack is decent, but it's not that great. Foul play, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb's not bad. Grass Knot. I hate to say it, but Moongus is, does not look like it's going to be that great. Stunkfish. I think this is a Pokemon that people are interested in because the stamina is, again, indeed very high. Well, let's look at the moves. Thundershock. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, wow. This is incredible. You could literally run either one of these. I do believe they both have the same EPT. I might be off slightly. But... Mudshot? Oh my gosh. This is a PvP master. You have to have this on your team for Great League. Wow. So, if you're doing a cup, depending on what the Pokemon are going to be available in the cup, it's literally going to determine the charge move. Because Discharge, incredible PvP move. Mud Bomb, incredible. Muddy Water is actually incredible. Um, wow. Guys, put a star next to this. Stungfish is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, Stungfish, put a star next to this. This is going to be a fantastic Pokemon for the Great League, so make sure you try to catch a good one for PvP. Holy cow, this is fantastic. 
And then Alomomola, Alomomola, say that 800 times fast. Uh, 338 stamina. I mean, that stuck out like a sore thumb. I'm like, this has to be good for the Great League, right? Well, let's take a look at the moves. And no. Wow. These just, these moves aren't, this isn't going to get anything done. So unfortunately, we can't pick that one. Now there was another Pokemon. Actually, better yet, let's go to PV Poke. That is not it. So if we go to Twitter, make sure you guys are following PV Poke. They're very good. Go to Twitter, PV, PV Poke. Spell that right. There we go. Oh, it's because I was spelling it wrong. So check this out. They have a very good graphic here. Go ahead and zoom in on that. Just to kind of reiterate what we've been going over. Well, that's not doing anything. So this is kind of hard to see, I see, but bear with me. So Scrafty overall is another good Pokemon with Counter, Power Up Punch, and Foul Play as a moveset. Mandibuzz, they recommend Air Slash, Sky Attack, Foul Play. Woo, no, D okay, okay, no, no. You have to have, you have to have Shadow Ball. You have to. I, I might have to message him. You have to have Shadow Ball. It just hits way too hard. It hits way... Uh, no. You would definitely want Shadow Ball on that. I think you guys can agree on that. Um, let's see, so... Da -da 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 -da. Jellicent! Ooh, we didn't go over Jellicent. Let's go ahead and do that. So Jellicent is another very good Pokemon for the Great League and PvP. So let's see exactly how good it is, shall we? Jellicent. We're looking at a 225 stamina, 170 defense, 159 at 2338. It's actually going to be a decent Pokemon for the uh, Ultra League. Ah, Hex and Bubble, both fantastic moves with Shadow Ball and Bubble Beam. Mm, let's see what they say. Jellicent, Bubble, Shadow Ball, Bubble Beam. There you go. This is hard to see, and I apologize for that, so that's why I'm reading it out. Yep, I can see why Jellicent's good. Zuelus, Dragon Breath, Body Slam, Dark Pulse. Okay, I can I can live with that. Dark Pulse instead of Dragon Pulse. We went over that. Stunkfish, Mud Shot, Mud Bomb, Discharge. Again, it depends, depends on the cup. Because you could go with uh, Mud Shot, um, Mud Bomb, Mud Shot, Mud Bomb, and what was the other one? Muddy Water. So it just depends. But there you guys have it. There's some of the best Pokemon, I think, personally, Coming from Gen 5, they're going to be the best for the Great League. Uh, as always, test these Pokemon out. Test Mandibuzz with File Play and test it with Shadow Ball. Because I think, I don't think they meant to do this. I think Shadow Ball was definitely meant to be a, uh, a choice here. Because Shadow Ball is fantastic. It does 100 damage and it's very quick to power up. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Smash that like button and subscribe if you have done so already. Be a part of the Fit City fam. We're going to be doing a PvE uh video coming very soon and also should you spend money in pokemon go i have some very surprising revealing facts about my spending habits and how we should go about those things that's it boy fits the i'll sign off see you guys in the next pokemon go video